buddies who write school podcasts. I am Pastor Goodman, and we're going solo this day, talking about some things you might see in church. It's actually today. Today is uh, the feast of Saint Matthew the Apostle, but you might see it in church this Sunday because you know we're just gonna we're just gonna punt for a few days till you actually show up. Um, so one of the things you might see in church uh, is Jesus talking about who actually needs. Jesus, um, as he calls uh, St. Matthew, the tax collector, who was a bad guy. Like the tax collectors, they hurt people for money. That was how they. That was how they made their living. And you can sort of make your your. He he might have been a good tax collector, where you know he just sort of he made a compelling argument for for good government, and people willingly gave them gave him more than they would need to, so he could have a have a nice life. But but really, I don't know. Um. Anyway, so Jesus is eating with tax collectors and sinners, and whatever kind of tax collector Matthew was, it was enough to upset the whole crowd. So he had to say this. Oh, when he heard this question, why do your why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners, he said, those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice, for I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. You see, we pack a box full of sinners every single Sunday on the Feast of St. Matthew or any other day, and uh, we forgive them. That's, that's the point of church. Jesus spends his time with sinners, not because it's just great to be a sinner, but because they need help. It, it, it's sort of that way to sort of parse whether or not Jesus eating with sinners just means that everybody should be more sinful or everybody should be less sinful and just recognize that um, the healthy have no need of a physician but the sick. And so it's not a question of whether or not you should be sick, but just if you are, is there somebody who's willing to spend time with you and help you? This is sort of the question. Jesus spending all of his time with uh, sinners doesn't mean that he gets bored by the Pharisees who are always uptight in church and care too much about how you behave. It, it simply means he is there to give mercy, and the people who need mercy actually need, well, mercy. Jesus comes into this world to bleed and to die, not to show us how to behave, but to bleed and to die to forgive us for all the times that we haven't. The church then becomes not even the hospital, but the hospice center for, for the sinners. It, it becomes the place where we go to die so that we would be brought through death and back out unto life. We, we are sick. We, we have a disease. We have sin. We have all of those things that we have tried to behave with and, and just failed miserably. We have all of those things that we, we couldn't even work up the gumption to try to behave for this week. And um, in all of it, we get to to recognize that here Jesus sets up a meal to feed us. Jesus wants to eat with tax collectors and sinners. Jesus wants to save and forgive. Jesus wants to work in a way that, that is grander than sort of our best efforts, but but rather he gathers around everybody who has something wrong with them. And he says, this is a meal that is a, a cure, not in that you, you'll just sort of get better and, and try harder and actually succeed this week if you really mean it but but rather in the your sins are forgiven and your sins will be forgiven this sunday and next sunday and the sunday after that until at last our lord comes again or or you die and then and rise again because ours is a religion of death and resurrection ours is a religion of crosses and empty tombs and so when jesus calls saint matthew the tax collector it doesn't matter what kind of tax collector Matthew is. It matters what kind of savior Jesus is. Jesus is the, the kind of savior who doesn't need perfect apostles. Jesus is the kind of savior who doesn't pack a, Christ, uh, a church full of perfect Christians. He is the one who, who gathers in those who need to go to the doctor, and then he is the great physician. He is the one who heals not just our souls, but even our bodies, so that on the last day we will rise. Um, and it never changes. That, that's the glorious part. It, it never changes and, and sort of turns into now be good. It, it is always, if you are sick, if you are weak, if you are sinful, there, there is a hospital. There is a hospice center. There is a place where you can die and rise every single week. There is a place where your sins are forgiven. And that doesn't make being sick okay. It just means you have a place to take it. it it's wonderful now. Uh, you have a place to take your sin. It, it, sin is bad. You shouldn't have sin. But, but since you do, you have a place to take it. You have a Jesus who eats with sinners and tax collectors, and you and me, he feeds us with his body and blood, and there there we have something that will sustain us until, until at last we don't need a doctor anymore in the resurrection.